Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Sparky Linux uh, 3, the release candidate, but by the time you watch this video I'm sure it's already been released. So let's take a quick look down the uh, list of what you get. I'm not going to read all these out, but if you guys go through the video you can see what's all pre-installed. Excel, this is one of my favorite uh, music players. Big fan. I was testing it out earlier. I better mute this, or else I'll get screamed at by uh, YouTube. But it works rather nicely, and it's lightweight. And what's nice about the um, the monochromatic look and feel of uh, Sparky Linux is that everything, pretty much uh, any any color on the uh, interface just sort of um, just shows up so it's extremely uh, contrast uh, friendly although uh, it does kind of make me feel like I'm back in the days of like um, you know black and white Mac OS 6 or something like that it's a really solid uh, distribution based off of Debian testing and actually I'm going to uh, pause this video right here and install some of the other versions. So besides the LXDE version, which is the uh, the standard version, there is a uh, Mate version and a Razor QT version. And um, I feel like I'm missing something else. The Ultra Light version, which has uh, less stuff installed. So anyway, I'll correct myself as I go. And uh, thanks for watching the first part of the video. Hey everybody, so I'm gonna, this is the uh, second video in um, a set of four, and um, this is Sparky Linux Release Candidate 3. This one uses JWM as its window manager, and of course they've pre-configured it with uh, some um, of the basic and common apps that you would want to use. Uh, JWM, which is an acronym for Joe's Window, Ma Window Manager. I actually never heard of it before until I uh, tried it out today, and um, it's kind of cool. So, uh, let's see here, what do we got? Uh, Joe's Window Manager, information from their website here, again on Wikipedia. Sparky Linux Home. Now this is a uh, Cubzilla. This is a QT web browser. So I'm guessing that Joe's Window Manager is a extremely lightweight version of QT. So into applications, we've got a different set of applications than what came with. Sparky, the regular Sparky Linux. Not much different. I mean, you've got Clause Mail instead of the uh, Mail Reader in the previous video. Still have VLC. So I think what they're doing is they're choosing um, some QT versions, uh, if there's some good ones, in place of uh, GTK, but that's not always the case, obviously. And just so you know, to get to the menu, this took me a second because I wasn't sure if this was a, uh, if this had any kind of panel uh, menu. You just right click, and it's so it's it's just like open box. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. Let's see, is this even the uh, weather for my n neighborhood? It should be pulling up Los Angeles. Oh, whoa. Old school. So, if you're looking for an extremely lightweight uh, distribution, check this one out. 
it's only using uh, 550 megs while I'm screen ca uh, casting this video. And you know, I'm doing it 24 frames per second, as well as uh, using um, two cores, uh, I'm shooting for uh, 10 megabits per second, but obviously it's uh, moving it down to 300 and so. So anyway, that is uh, Joe's Joe Window Manager um, for Sparky Linux. Really, really cool and uh, pretty solid. You know, it's uh, it's kind of like a good cross between um, LXDE, I suppose. No, it's like it's like open box. You can use this in place of open box, but you can see this theming is um, pretty much the same across the board here. In fact, let's see if I can change the desktop background. Well, yeah, I didn't see it, but I'm sure it's there. I wonder where it saved that file. Anyway, I haven't used Joe's Window Manager before. It's uh, pretty intuitive, but I'd have to uh, check it out again sometime. All right. Well, the next one up will be um, either Qt or Mate. So uh, keep on watching. Hey everybody, so welcome to my la uh, my video on Razer QT. This is the uh, release candidate um, for Sparky Linux 3. Let's take a quick look at the resources. They're running a little bit high because I'm recording this video uh, pretty aggressively. But uh, when I booted into the system, it was right around 300 megabytes, so nice and lightweight. As you can see, the team that works on Sparky Linux is uh, four people, but I'm sure there's a lot of people in the background. Uh, as far as distributions go that are independent and small, I actually find that this is a pretty well-maintained website. They don't have a forum, but, but then again, this is based off of Debian, so you could check out some forums for Debian, and even if you have questions, you could use an Ubuntu forum, since um, there are similarities, uh, a lot of similarities with Debian and on the Ubuntu project because it's based off of Debian. So let's take a look at the actual desktop here. Um, Razer Qt is, uh, of course, uh, based off of Qt or the Qt language, just like KDE. They have Catfish File Manager, Calculator. A lot of the programs are pretty much the same across the board with Sparky Linux, but um, but there is variances based on which distro you're using. So. Um, they'll opt for the QT stuff, like Cubzilla and Quasol IRC, instead of that XChat, due to um, just not needing the um, GTK uh, libraries, although there are GTK applications in here as well. You know, Putin. Oh, there's some. Um, you know, on all versions of Sparky Linux, there are uh, backup assistants and all these other things, so you could actually keep your system uh, backed up very easily as well. Plenty of preferences to go through. Whoops. Change the appearance of Razor, if you want, go with a uh, traditional blue design, the ambience theme, green, kind of like an open Suzy thing. Looks really nice. You could also right click and get the menu like uh, you would in an open box or XFCE system. I actually find that uh, QT, uh, Razer QT is pretty solid. 
Um, very impressed, actually. Let's look at the system tools. Task manager. Which task manager is this using? LX tasks. Okay. Not too shabby. One thing I wanted to do was see how they do the package management. Should it be Synaptic? Yes. So if you're familiar with Synaptic, oh, this is something I forgot to mention in the other videos, is that um, when you go through the installation process, which is extremely uh, simple, by the way, all you need to do is have a little bit of experience using um, Gparted and just uh, set up your partitions, and then it'll run you through a step-by-step -step menu for for each um, uh, each partition, and it, it took eight minutes. I mean, I'm I'm running this off of an S, um, SD um, solid state drive, so it's actually moving pretty quickly. I find that everything looks really nice in Razer QT, even. Even though this is, um, GIMP is based off of, uh, I think it's a GDK app. Pretty impressive. Let's take a look at some of the uh, preferences. Whoops. So you can run a command there, hit Alt F2, run a command here if you want. Just like that. Pretty solid. This one will bring up your configuration so you can go through all your different configuration settings here. Pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next portion. everybody. So this is my final ver uh, video in the Sparky Linux 3.0 release candidate video series. Still pretty uh, lightweight here. Let's take a look at the uh, system resources while I'm going through and uh, doing this video. It's been a while since I've used uh, traditional GNOME that I literally have forgotten how to find everything, so bear with me. Where is the network resources? I tried installing HTOP earlier and it wasn't available in the re uh, repositories for whatever reason. Am I blind? Okay. Yes, the mate system monitor. Sorry about that, guys. So, you can see that this is, um, well, part of the mate project as well. So, they've definitely went through and started uh, forking uh, more than just the panel, but also the old version of Nautilus here. And the resource manager. So, you can get an idea on uh, how much RAM, how many resources I'm using. Wow. I am really impressed. It's uh, 386 megabytes of memory. That is, that's pretty impressive considering that I'm throwing together a video at this time. Pretty, pretty cool. So, what else do we got here? Let's look through some applications. I have a feeling there's uh, Make Calculator. This is really a nice... Uh, really impressed with me. A root terminal is handy. 
I have made image viewer. <laughs> Guys, if you're a, a fan of GNOME 2, this is a, definitely a good installation. Uh, it's been solid for me. Um, I haven't had any errors since I started testing it out last night. How many terminals can I have open? <laughs> so anyway, um, the whole series has been really fun to look at, to see uh, a distribution like um, Sparky Linux and how they uh, approach multiple uh, desktop environments. The experience overall is pretty much the same no matter which version you use. So whether you go for the um, the um, LXDE E17 version, which oh I didn't I didn't try out E17, the open box uh, JWM version, the Mate, the Razer QT version. Um, pretty much have the same experience, uh, just a different de um, desktop environment. So if you're looking for a quick and easy to install um, uh, Debian-based uh, rolling release distribution, maybe uh, thinking about switching from uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition or just want something based on de Debian directly, uh, this is a good one to try. And of course, if you're not a monochromatic uh, um, fan of the desktops, you can always, uh, well, you can change the desktops. They have plenty of them available in each version of the distribution to bring in a little bit more color. And I have to say, it looks really cool. Now, there is a little bit of a compositing error there, but you just right-click on, um, on the dock here, and it solves everything. It looks amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I... Uh, Hope you guys uh, enjoy uh, Sparky Linux. There's, according to their website, there's a whopping three or four people working on the project, and uh, I tell you, it's pretty solid for a uh, small operation. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you on the next video. Later.